Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, hey, I'm still in the Teton National Forest and it's beautiful. Me and Tuck and the wolf pack here we are leaving our little campsite here. There are the Tetons right up there with the snow on them. This is the Elk Refuge outside Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Isn't that beautiful? Got quite a little drive coming out of here. But uh, they say that uh, they got all this land protected down here. So in the cold weather, when the snow's everywhere, the elk come down here to graze, kick the snow off the fields, and eat. I say they kick the snow off where they're eating at. How about that? Find a little bit of vegetation in there, and that's enough to get them through the winter. A little bit further down in elevation, these leaves are on these aspens are still hanging on. I forget the exact number of this county road. I'll put it right here where you can read it. I'll put it in a subtitle. Beautiful camping, but now I'm going down the mountain. It only gets worse going up. So have a high clearance vehicle so you don't get hit a rock or get stuck in a rut. Who wants to get stuck in a rut, right? Not me. Too hard to get out. Tucker saw a little ground squirrel a while ago. He's still quite upset about it that I didn't let him out to go chase it. Man, I could have caught that old ground squirrel. You just should have let me out. I mean, it wouldn't take 30 seconds. 30 seconds, that's all I need. 30 seconds, Tuck. You'd be in Atlanta. He does real good though. He, uh, he comes to me when I call him better than the girls do. May -may, baby May May, second best. And Martini, well, we all know she's got a mind of her own. She'll come, but she always does it under protest. Every single time. You see the babies back there? I don't let them ride back there when we're on the highway but it was like 22 degrees this morning and uh, a little chilly. Baby May Mace got on her dress. Martini didn't want to wear hers and now she regrets it. I've got to go to the post office this morning and get out one of my biggest sticker orders ever, ever. I mean, I got to stack that, that thick. Thank you guys for supporting me that way and sticking me on the back of your RV and your trucks and cars and motorcycles and mopeds. I really appreciate it. It's a good way to help the channel grow, show your support. Show who you like to watch on YouTube. I know it's the Wolfpack, no it's not me. The campground that's up here is closed down for the season. You got black plastic over the sign where you can't read it. You got black plastic over that one. Maybe it's to protect it from the snow. I don't know. I have seen people camping right here. Like I said, this road goes back behind me about 10 miles or so. And there's only 15, 16 campsites. But I have come back through here in the mornings and there's been a bunch of people parked right here. I'll get out and show it to you. I guess when the camping's full, they let you camp here. It's still cold this morning. 28 degrees. Yeah, this is the Curtis Canyon viewpoint. And that road, I think it's road 33040. It goes, like I said, it goes back about 10 miles, 11 miles. And they were able, they were able to find 
16 campsites in 11 miles. All right. And the, uh, the little pay campground is right here. 16. And a lot of the good ones I was walking, they got it blocked up where you can't drive to it. You got to carry in a tent for a ways. Well, I don't know how many. I saw two like that. They had the prettiest campsites. Let's go look at this overlook this morning. Say it with me. Panning slowly. Panning slowly. Panning slowly. People say, what kind of gimbal do you use? I say, I don't have one. Freehand. Isn't this incredible? Look at the snow up there on top of the Tetons. Wow. Let's do a full 360. This is what it's about, y'all. I recently lost a subscriber and a patron. And the reason they told me and they were legit, they, they were the real deal. They told me that they were upset about me complaining about site number one being unlevel. And you know, <laughs> it was the most unlevel campsite I had ever seen. I mean, they run these motor graders up this road all the time. It seems to me they could have leveled it. But the fact of the matter is, he thought that I was disrespecting this place. And, and I put picture after picture of sunsets and trees, and I showed, told everybody how beautiful it was. But he was upset about me, upset at me for saying that the lot was unlevel. Blew my mind. We'd also had a little trouble in the past to talk about difficulty finding honest mechanics. And I know there are tons of honest mechanics. But you got to work to find them. But I guess you just can't make everybody happy. And I hate that I lost a guy. But understand, when I, when I tell you things like this, it's not so much that I'm complaining If I tell you how I see it through my eyes and the real, my real world experiences, maybe when you come out, you'll be better prepared. Bring more leveling blocks. I had plenty of leveling blocks. I found a level spot. Do as much, when you find a good mechanic, wear him out. I mean, get, get him to the point he don't want to see you come through the door no more. Even when you're paying good and pay him extra. Do all the maintenance to your RV that you can, and your vehicle, if, if they're separate. Do all the maintenance that you possibly can. Go overboard. Go beyond what you should do. Because I guarantee you it'll be cheaper when you do it at home versus getting out here on the road. And you might just get unlucky and run across a mechanic that will rip you off. Or you might just get lucky and find nothing but good mechanics. But needless to say understand that it's not so much complaining as I am just 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 showing people the way it is out here okay my little rant it's over <laughs> how dare me let negative thoughts come into my mind sitting here looking at this beautiful place done with it it's a beautiful day it's gonna be a great day mm -hmm.
and I don't hold any ill will against this person whatsoever. I know for a fact they're going through some trying times in their life. You never know what someone else is going through. And if someone's not nice to you, it doesn't necessarily mean, it may not have anything to do with you at all. This guy right here is sleeping in his Audi wagon. Got his towels up, blocking off all the light. This little tent's been sitting on here beside the road for the last week. I can see it's got a sleeping bag laid up against it. Never know. We're all out here doing it our own way. People sleeping in tents, cars, trucks, vans, buses, motorhomes, truck campers, class C's, class B's. I don't think any of it's wrong. I think some of it's better and easier than others. As long as you're out here, just get out here. You gonna live forever? Is that your plan? You gonna live forever? Do this later? What if there isn't later? Then what? Only get one ride around this big old rock. Better make the most of it. Time is short. Very short. Got some antelope out here this morning. Let's see if I can zoom in. What's, what's the matter, Tuck? Man, I'll bite him. You couldn't, you couldn't even catch up with his dust. He's so much faster than you. I'm gonna zoom in right here and do be real shaky. Oh, I am zoomed. We got a sanctuary here. Not to worry about anybody right away. Uh, I'm not gonna let you do it. You just wanna chase something. Daddy, I'll bite that old antelope. up here baby may -mays. did you see them I see those old antelopes I see them I, I can catch you I can catch that old antelope yeah what are y'all talking about what do y'all see I see antelope baby martini well let's get on to town and baby may may is not antelope it's antelope. That's what I said. Antelope. Okay. There's several houses down here in this refuge at the edge of it. How would you like to live here? I mean, if you had to have sticks and bricks. Look at Tucker's hair blowing in the breeze. Man, it's beautiful. My hair's just beautiful. Yeah, Tuck, you're real pretty. I mean, you really are. I felt like Chewbacca this morning. Who's Chewbacca? Well, there used to be a movie called Star Wars. Never heard of it. Was it like Star Trek? No, uh, well, some say it wasn't as good. Lord help, now I'm going to have the nerds hating on me. I like them both, actually. Look at the ski slopes up here. You got three, four different runs. One, two, three, four. Kind of a ritzy ski town right here. Have you ever heard of a vertical garden? This is a first for me. I turned out of the post office. And I was fixing to find a car wash to wash this nasty van. 
It's so dusty from the dirt roads. Isn't that, see the plants growing right here? It's a solar vertical garden. How incredible is this? It's got him a little Dodge Pro Master just like mine. A little 136. Right across from the Spring Suites Marriott. You know, they got to be turning a pretty good profit. To afford this kind of real estate to grow vegetables. Let's see if we can get up close here to it. It's like a little bitty. And I hear these um, have almost no pesticides whatsoever. Bugs can't get in. I've heard of them doing whole high-rise skyscrapers in towns like this now. Oh, oh wow, okay, it's, it rotates. It's on a, a chain. It's actually moving. Make sure they all get plenty of sun. I've seen it all now. Y'all are going to have to pardon the bus. There's some of the produce right here. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Do they give tours here? Uh, one o'clock. One o'clock? Uh, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at one. Good deal. I've got a little ProMaster just like this. How do you like it? Good. That's mine right across the street, my white one there. Oh. Vertical harvest. That is neat. So, are there a lot of these out here? Only one in the United States right now. This is it? And there's one being built in uh, Pennsylvania. No kidding. No kidding. You said there's one overseas? Uh, Singapore. How about that? So they don't have to worry about bugs or anything? No pesticides? Yeah, we do, yeah, we do tear bugs, but not very, not very many, right? Yeah. Cool. I said, I don't understand. In the middle of Jackson Hole, Wyoming, this is very expensive real estate. Seems to me they'd be much better off. Well, they could do this anywhere. And the fact that these other buildings would shade it sometime. I don't know. I've always been too busy making a dime to make a dollar. And obviously, obviously these people know what they're doing. The future. The future of food. Well, from the post office to the grocery store. Yep. Out here on the road, got to eat too. Leaving the wolf pack like this makes me most nervous of all. Thank goodness it's not summer yet. It's very, very cool inside the van. I've been in here for about 15, 20 minutes. I took a little, closed my eyes for just a second. Took just a teeny tiny nap. And, uh, but I'm out of groceries. So when I leave the wolf pack, I put up my blinds. And usually I put a note on the door, you know, if there's an emergency how to, and how to get in touch with me. Wintertime is easy. Summertime with the heat. And I can only go grocery shopping in the very, very early morning or late at night when it's already dark. But it's what I have to do. I can't take them in grocery shopping with me. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you call a grocery store. Get this loaded up. I need to find me a camping spot for tonight. Yep. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It's 
gotta be one of the nicest grocery stores I've ever been in. I mean, that put Kroger, Walmart, everybody to shame. That was a shopping experience. Jackson Hole is a pretty little town, but uh, uh, you can tell, I mean, it feels ritzy all over. Not a tremendous amount of boondocking here. The town is pretty well closed down. All the parking lots are marked. The town is growing, good bit of construction here and there. But it's a sight to see nonetheless. You know who's got his head hanging out the window. Barking at all the other dogs he sees, at least growling. It's like, hey, I'm Tuck Tuck. I'm famous, everybody knows me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you think, Tucker. Everybody likes me best. That's not true, they like me. Tucker, don't you be going and getting the big head. You might be the world's most famous Yorkie. But something to take you down a notch, you get to thinking too much of yourself, I'll tell you that. Look at the bears. <laughs> somebody's somebody's got an imagination and that's a good sign you gotta have a a good sign if you're in business now look at the antler arches here that's made out of antlers. I've seen like six of these in town so far. Isn't that incredible? They're massive. Look at all those bones, man. Stop, stop. There's a bunch of bones. I want to get a bone. Tucker, you can't have those bones. Those are for people to take pictures of. Man. Why didn't you let me have some of those bones? There was enough for everybody. Even May, there was a there was enough for Baby May May and everybody. Well, Tucker, th those are not bones; they're antlers. Look like bones to me. Can I have a bone, Daddy? They're they're antlers. What are antlers? Well, they're bones that grow on top of deer's heads and moose heads. See. See, I told you, man, you just didn't want to stop. That's all. I remember that. I got a brain like a trap. I won't forget. Well, I have reached the end of here. Dead end, four wheel drive recommended. Looks like somebody's staying here. Texas. Hmm. There's the Tetons right there. Looks like a campsite to me. I hear a lot of shooting. I also hear a river. Yep. A sign over here. Let's see what it has to say. Looks like somebody was nice enough to leave some firewood. Well. Well, it says the camping limit is 16 days. Uh, and not to have a fire. Bear activity. Yep. So I guess I'm going to stay here tonight. I think there's something just kind of skeet shooting or target practice over there. We won't be doing it at night. Pack it in, pack it out. Okay.
another day in the life living on the road in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Camping right here, with a beautiful view of a Teton. Tetons. All right, I'm in a little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.